Welcome to the session Using AI to Automate Clinical Workflows. I'm George Price, a deep learning architect here at the Machine Learning Solutions Lab in AWS. In this breakout, I'm going to explain to you a huge problem in the healthcare and life sciences industry and present to you two solutions for this problem in the form of web applications that you yourself can leverage today. For each solution, I'll explain its user flow and architecture, and I'll give you a live demonstration of its functionality. At the end, I will wrap up and present you with some resources that you can use to start digging into these solutions yourself. So what is the problem and motivation here? In the day-to-day -day operations of many industries, we often come into contact with unstructured data. Unstructured data is any data that cannot be easily indexed, queried, or consumed, either by a person or by a software application. Examples of this include audio files, image files, forms that have been filled out by hand, scanned or faxed documents, and even PDF files. In general, PDFs can't be searched programmatically, for example, using control F, nor can you store the information inside a PDF file into a database. You can only store the PDF file itself. Making use of this information is very time and energy intensive. Someone has to sit down and manually enter the information into a database or into an online form on a computer before it can be used by an application. So how can we automate this, make it much more efficient, and therefore allow for scaling up to hundreds or thousands of documents? Let's first start with how to leverage the power of speech. Speech is a great thing because it allows for freeing up your hands and your concentration to focus on other things. This solution is called the Medical Transcription Analysis, and, or MTA. And what the MTA does is it records audio, converts it to text, and extracts medical concepts all in real time. I can only imagine how difficult it is for a nurse or a doctor or a dental hygienist to be performing clinical duties with a patient, listening to what the patient is saying or trying to take medical readings and recording accurate notes at the same time, or just trying to remember everything the patient is saying. With this solution, they can just activate the microphone and then focus on the task at hand. Once finished, they can immediately see the information formatted and displayed in front of them. After that, it's just a few clicks in order to download the information store it in the database, or send it to a downstream application. The medical transcription analysis uses Amazon Transcribe Medical for its speech-to-text capability. Transcribe Medical is similar to Amazon Transcribe, our general speech-to-text AI service, except that Transcribe Medical has been trained specifically on medical data, so it can recognize words like lymphadenopathy much better even than most humans. For extracting important uh, medical concepts, the solution uses Amazon Comprehend Medical. Amazon Comprehend Medical is similar to Amazon Comprehend, our general natural language processing service, except that, again, it has been trained specifically to recognize medical concepts. The MTA architecture comprises a static web application, hosted on S3, that provides a direct connection to Amazon Transcribe Medical and Comprehend Medical. When a recording is initiated using a computer microphone, the audio data is streamed to these services, and the output is returned to the browser to be displayed to the user. Once the user is done with the session, he or she can save it, and the output is then stored in S3 for easy access. One additional feature of this solution is the ability to use Athena to query the output in S3, and then uh, display the output using uh, QuickSight into some nice dashboards. Let's give a demo of the medical transcription analysis so you can see it for yourself. Here you can see the landing page where we can immediately start recording with a single click. And for your convenience, we've also included some samples that can be automatically recorded if you just want to see how it works. I'm now going to use one of these samples so that you can see the solution in action. The patient is a 49-year-old male who recently sustained a traumatic injury to his left thigh during a boating accident. He was airlifted to the nearest hospital where he underwent extensive surgery and was later discharged. He has been admitted today due to his non-healing surgical wound. He still has the external fixation on it for the healing fractures in the leg. The patient has several areas of hypergranulation tissue right along the graft site. He has some drainage from these areas, but there are no signs or symptoms of infection. He has a temperature of 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and his current medications include Cipro and Flagyl. He is referred to us to help him get those areas under control. The patient will receive a series of treatment with chemical cauterization until these wounds are closed. Immediately, you can see the important information that Comprehend Medical has identified. And in the top right, you will see the legend by which it color codes the different categories, such as PHI, medical conditions, anatomy, and procedures. 
Comprehend Medical is triggered whenever Transcribe is finished with a segment of audio. A segment is automatically delineated, usually when there is a pause in speech. We're now going to save the session. Up until now, nothing has been saved into AWS. It has all been returned to the front end. We'll choose a name, pick a patient, and a healthcare professional. Note that we can create new patient and professional profiles at any time. Once saved, it's time for our analysis. Here we can see a preview of the extracted information. We have the opportunity to remove some of it before we create the official record. If we think that some of it is inaccurate or simply does not need to be included. Note that this information is not removed from the S3 bucket. It's still available. Once we are done, we can click summarize and be presented with a nicely formatted output that we can either download or send as an electronic health record to a downstream application. This button is not implemented. It exists as an invitation to the user to connect this application to an existing data pipeline where the extracted information can be added as a JSON or CSV. Once we have saved multiple sessions, we can search and retrieve them using the search functionality, querying by session, patient, or healthcare professional. An additional feature is the ability to use Athena to make queries to the output that is stored in S3. Here we have a query that will find for us the most frequently used medications. That concludes our demo of medical transcription analysis. We recorded some audio, transcribed its contents, formatted the medical terms that were present, and stored it for further use. It's time to move on to our second solution. The Document Understanding Solution, or DUS, is a web application that customers can leverage for enterprise search, document digitization, document discovery, and extraction and redaction of important pieces of information. It's a large solution with a wide variety of applications to almost every industry, not only healthcare and life sciences. If medical transcription analysis focused on getting structured information out of speech, the DUS focuses on getting it out of images. The information is extracted using AWS Textract, Amazon's Optical Character Recognition or OCR service, and Comprehend Medical. Once a document has been processed, there are three major features that you can take advantage of. The first one is search. With the DUS, all of the process files are indexed into Elasticsearch and optionally Amazon Kendra. And then customers can search uh, inside a document or across documents using either keywords or natural language queries. Note that Amazon Kendra is an optional addition to the solution if you're interested in enterprise search capabilities. The second feature is compliance or redaction. The DUS offers the ability to redact sensitive pieces of information inside images and PDF files. And the third feature is workflow automation. After extracting all of the textual information and storing it in an easily accessible place, S3, the DUS allows for downloading these redacted files, converting PDFs into searchable PDFs, or downloading forms and tables directly out of image files. For each of these use cases, the DUS can always be modified and integrated with your software stack. So instead of downloading these files, they can easily be transmitted to a downstream application by plugging the solution into an interface that can receive CSVs, JSONs, text files, or image files. The document understanding solution uses over 10 different services in its architecture and is focused on creating an application that is as serverless as possible. It makes generous use of lambdas for computation, SNS and SQS for a publish subscribe queuing system, S3 for data storage, DynamoDB for metadata storage, Elasticsearch and Kendra for search engine capability, and of course, Textract, Comprehend, and Comprehend Medical for its artificial intelligence components. The user experience begins with the web application, serverlessly hosted on S3 and served by CloudFront. The application uses Cognito for authentication and authorization, and it uses API Gateway for handling user requests such as search and downloading documents. A user uploads files through the user interface and they are stored directly into S3. There is also another method for uploading large numbers of documents at once. This bulk processing is triggered by uploading the documents directly to the bulk processing S3 bucket. Once a file is uploaded, 
and its metadata is stored in DynamoDB, a Dynamo event stream immediately kicks off the processing of the document. A Lambda function decides which of two processing paths the file should follow. For image files, because they tend to be small, we use a synchronous flow. PDFs, on the other hand, can be large, up to hundreds of pages. And so for that, we use an asynchronous flow. Both Textract and Comprehend support asynchronous requests. For both flows, Textract and Comprehend are queried in turn, and the output is stored back into S3. Once a document is processed, it is automatically indexed into Elasticsearch and optionally Amazon Kendra. This provides the user with the ability to search across and within the documents in the document set from the user interface using either keywords or natural language queries. And that is the general user flow. The only thing I didn't really go over in detail is the DynamoDB tables, which are used to store metadata. This metadata is important for coordinating the backend processing, and it also gets served back to the UI when the user decides to inspect a specific document. Now, it's time for our next demonstration. To begin, we must first log in. Authentication and authorization is provided by Cognito and IAM. Once logged in, we are greeted with three tracks. And each track has an associated tooltip explaining in further detail the content that it provides. I'm going to start with the workflow automation track. No matter what track we choose, we're presented with a document viewer page where we can see the documents that have already been processed. We have pre-uploaded a sample of medical documents ranging from kidney disease to muscular dystrophy. Documents can be uploaded directly from your computer or by taking an image using your computer's camera. For illustration purposes, I'm going to use one of these pre-sampled documents to upload. Let's pick a document that's already been processed. At the top, you can see the different formats for the data that has been extracted from the image. Textract and Comprehend give us not only the raw text, but also key value pairs, tables, entities, such as personal information, and medical entities, such as medication. This is similar to what we saw with the MTA. One of the more interesting extractions is for tables, which can be downloaded right out of the image. To facilitate work for automation, the DUS provides the ability to download this data, or alternatively, it can be plugged directly into an interface. Let's move on to compliance. For this, we'll pick an insurance claim form. When aggregating claims forms and processing them for analytics, it may become necessary to remove personally identifiable or other sensitive information. The DUS gives the ability to do just that by taking an image and redacting your terms of choice. It then creates a new image that you can download or plug into a downstream application. For example, we can pick all of the personal information in this document and remove it. Alternatively, we can search directly for a term that we want to remove. This new document can then be downloaded. Let's move on to the final track, Discovery. Keeping in line with the scenario of collecting large numbers of medical documents, the ability to search through these documents is a critical capability. Firstly, Within a document, we can search for terms and find their locations. One thing to note is that this is a PDF document. We are now searching through it for textual terms. This is not something native to a PDF, but we can make it native to this PDF or any image file that we upload through the searchable PDF conversion function. See how this PDF file is now a searchable uh, text document using just Control F. A few minutes ago, this was an image. And now it's a searchable text document. We can also search in 
across the entire document set using the document viewer search bar, which supports using keywords. Or natural language queries. Here we've compiled a set of queries for your convenience that work well with this pre-uploaded document set. The DUS will show you the results from Elasticsearch and optionally Kendra. And you can even compare them side by side. One additional feature of Kendra is the ability to add tags to your documents, which can then be used to filter and sort the results. For example, in this case, we have tagged the documents to be more relevant to either the general public or to scientists. You can see how the filter result changes from a, a layman's introduction to the CK test to a more technical document that would appeal to a scientist. Again, Kendra is an optional inclusion in this solution, and it will function with just Elasticsearch if that is your preference. That concludes our demo of the document understanding solution. We uploaded some documents, searched within and across the processed output, redacted sensitive information, and discussed how the information can be extracted either by downloads or by connecting via an interface. One excellent resource for this solution, and I'll show you the link in the resources section at the end of this session, is a publication on what's called the AWS Solutions website. This website contains vetted technical solutions that are complete with an implementation guide, the source code, and the ability to deploy the solution with just a couple of clicks into your AWS account. So if you'd like to get started with either of these solutions, they are both open source and available on GitHub. The GitHub repo includes all of the source code and a guide for you to implement and deploy the solution, along with the full architecture diagrams that I showed you earlier. There's also a blog for each solution that goes into greater detail the benefits and value that the solutions can provide. The document understanding solution then, of course, goes one step further with the one-click deployment available on the AWS solution site, as I showed you before. That's all I have for you today. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your reInvent.